every time I come in here to record a different type of video, and then there's some more information about Sondra Squarepants Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. Let's jump into it. So IGN has released 22 new gorgeous screenshots, as they caught of Splendor Square Pants Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrate. So let's go through all them, talk about them and all the new stuff they reveal. Before that though, I was just sitting down here and I was going to write our script for a new, very special, very big video I'm planning on doing. So subscribe for that. It's about Nicktoons Unite. Um, and then I check in Twitter and of course there's more information coming out about this game, which I'm not complaining about, but <laughs> just saying. I was going to do something else. So the first screenshot is one of Spongebob just, well, standing in jellyfish fields with a little guy in the background and there's a poster of King Jellyfish and there's a bunch of stuff going on in the background. You've got the counter and you've also got the one uh, spatula thing at the top. I know this game very well, of course. Uh, then you've got other stuff from more or less the alpha footage we saw. It might be different, it might be newer, there might be changes from that edition, but it does just look like stuff we've already seen there. And then, number three onwards, we get our first look at Patrick. So our first look, apart from that statue that we saw, this is our first look, I believe, of Patrick in the actual game. You also can see in the background one of the uh, spawner monster enemy robot things. I, I know it has a word, yes. And you have another picture of uh, Patrick, which is face on this time. He's smiling, got his big eyes going, got the uh, SpongeBob health bubbles around there. You got the whole background area there, and you got Mrs. Puff over in the background there as well. Let me just point out, Mrs. Puff, best character in the game. Not in the show though, in the game. She's amazing. In the show, she's alright. Then we have Patrick here getting chased by some robots and him with the scared type of look. And then we have on his left a bunch of lightning tiki boxes. So, yeah again, I'm not the most actively aware of everything that's in the game, so these might be previously in the game, they're probably just redesigns of what was previously in the game, but they're a very big departure design-wise from what I can remember of the Tiki's in the original game. More, we just seen more of the level, I don't believe we saw this much of the level or any of this part, these parts in the demo, I don't believe maybe we did, I can't actually remember too much of what we saw in the demo. Then we've got him doing a grand, uh, grand slam with a lot of bubble effects, my lord. Oh, then we've got Spongebob doing his uh, jump up attack thing. I don't know what it's called. I've forgotten. I haven't, it's been a little while since I've played the game and even then I'm not paying a ton of attention. <laughs> I believe we, could, we saw this type of stuff in the alpha footage as well. And then we have these two absolute beauties. So first we have the downtown Bikini Bottom concept art. So I was having issues with my phone, stuff wasn't loading very well. So I didn't end up seeing these two in the actual video, so I'm recording this a little bit after. So in my little spiel I'm about to have, I didn't actually realize these were in here, so just take that as a grain of salt with everything I'm saying um, in a second. But first of all, this looks really cool, quite accurate to the thing, but once again, as I explain later, it is kind of just concept art, so it, it does prove what I'm saying a bit later a little bit more. But then after this one, we also have the one of Rock Bottom, and I absolutely love the color design in both of these. I really, specifically Rock Bottom. It's much, it's, it appears much brighter than it did in the um, for, in the original game. A lot brighter. I love the kind of teal look that it has. I'm really excited for these. Okay, so those are basically all the ones of note from these 22 pictures. They are very good looking. Look really good. I'm really impressed with kind of the art style and stuff they're going with for this game now that I've kind of grown a bit more accustomed to it. Um, but once again though, all the stuff we've seen, we've now seen Patrick, which is amazing, and some extra stuff like this is Puff and all that type of stuff, but we haven't really seen, we haven't seen Sandy, we haven't seen much of that level, we haven't seen any sliding, we haven't seen any other levels, we haven't seen the um, homes. I'll just throw this out now, I mean that, I mean that we haven't seen them in a gameplay form yet. We've seen in those screenshots, we've seen Spongebob stand out in front of his house and that type of stuff, uh, but we haven't seen the gameplay of any of this stuff is what I mean. Or the uh, Bikini Bottom kind of hub world or anything like that. We haven't seen any of the other worlds, which makes me think that this is still very early on in development, which makes me think we're probably going to be seeing this mid to late next year, unless they've got all these other parts of the game finished and they've just decided to release a bunch of screenshots of the first level, which I suppose Pose could make sense, but seems a bit weird if you have all that complete, why not show it to us? So it makes me believe that it's probably still very early, 
very early in pre-alpha and all that type of stuff and building the game and none of that other stuff is really at a point where they're happy to show it to people yet. It might be built to a degree, functional to a degree, but it's not at probably the polish that this, that this level is. So that kind of makes me think we'll probably be seeing this mid to late 2020. So I'm fine with that as long as it's a good game and they've got everything flushed out. We'll see screenshots over the next few months. We'll see probably, we'll probably actually see a proper gameplay trailer of the whole game probably in the next few months. So I'm really excited for all that. Let me know in the comments down below uh, what your thoughts of the screenshots were and what you would like to see in a trailer or in another pre-alpha demo type of thing or in more screenshots. What are the main types of things you would love to see? Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.